A very good morning, Zimbabwe, and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. And my name is Ronald Wekwamakusha. So this morning, we are taking a look onto this report. It says government has fired around 66 teachers for participating in the just ended 2023 elections. So this is according to a report from Zim Live, and we need to take a look onto this report and see what Rakambo Mira say what is happening. So as we are opening this report, can you click? and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we go live or we post an update, you will be notified. So this is the headline I'm bringing it right here to the screen so that uh, we are able to see it together. Zimbabwe exes 66 school teachers for contesting August elections. Ndoka msoro wachwe na u. And um, it's said Tim Zimbabwe to hear things like this because I believe, in personally, I believe that everybody has a right to participate in elections. And especially for those who are not in the security service or security sector. So, uh, the report says at least 66 school teachers have been discharged from Zimbabwe public service after breaking their employment code through participating as candidates in last month's harmonized elections. But unions say teachers targeted were those who sought political office under the opposition banner, while those who took part under the NPF was paid the ex public service commission PSCs, uh, general manager Grace Machakaye in correspondence to the Secretary for Primary and Secondary Education said it was replacing 66 teachers who lost their jobs through involvement in party elective politics. In line with the Public Service Commission General, a letter referenced D16 dated May 17, 2023. The commission intends to replace 66 teachers who resigned from the public service to participate in the 2023 harmonized elections. In view of this, you are requested to urgently provide learning areas for the teachers to enable the commission to make an informed decision. However, reacting to the development amalgamated rural teachers union of Zimbabwe, ATUS, accused the government of discrimination after allegedly wielding the ex on teachers who contested the poll on an opposition triple C ticket only. And they say, in line with section 200 of the constitution, it decided to replace 66 teachers who were successfully nominated as candidates for the 2023 election. Shockingly, teachers like Inok Cheveza of Kokwe South, Garikai, Makwakwa Makonde, Mashona Land West, who won as councillors for Zanu PF, remain in office. Atus posted on X. Before the 23 or uh, August 23 elections, authorities issued a warning and um they will not be kind to civil servants who join the political arena. And uh, that's secular uh, to all heads of government and ministries before PSC Secretary Tsitsi Choruma said at the time that participation of civil servants in political activities was guided by Section 203 and 4 of the Constitution Amendment number uh, Act uh, number 20 of 2020, uh, 2013. A member of the public service who wishes to become a candidate for elections to a local authority or has been nominated as a candidate by a political party, political organization, or a political movement, or declares himself or herself a candidate for elections to parliament or a local authority, shall submit in writing a letter notifying the commission of his or her intentions. The member shall be deemed to have resigned from public service with effect from the date that the authority is granted for those seeking election to a local authority. A member of public service who wishes to seek election to parliament shall be deemed to have resigned from public service with effect from the date of acceptance of his nomination by the nomination court. So this is um, what the law says and the laws, are, the sections are quoted here and um, we remain guided by these laws. So the question is, did uh, did the commission fire only those who participated under triple C? If so, it means that we have a problem. It means that they need to rectify that problem. It can't be 
like that. And um, honestly speaking, we don't need to have laws which are selective. If the law says you have to 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 leave uh, when you participate in elections, that is the law. And the only thing is to make sure that that law is rectified, is corrected, so that it um, protects everybody and gives rights to everybody. Because myself, I believe that um, people must be allowed to contest and um, people must be allowed to be part of the, politi the political fabric, especially when they are not in the security services and um, and say, guys, kuti me mune mchipo wana say, murugu wana say, maticha, madokotera, manesi, yesu wa shandu wa rumende, alacha bumiru wa ere, kuti wange wa chipatisipeta in politics, um, zema pati avo, especially kukondesta. And this was a guys kuti muno pa wana say, because once you, you, you show your intention to contest, it means you are now jobless. And uh, it is going to be a very, very, very interesting debate team Zimbabwe going forward. I don't know, guys, what you really think about this whole issue. Uh, in the comment section, please let us have this discussion. It's a serious matter, a serious discussion which we need to take a look. So key issues here. Um, Zimlife, according to the report, they say, Atus accused the government of removing those who participated under the opposition and others who participated under the ZANU-PF were spared. And I believe that if that is the case, they can take this matter to court and prove that so-and-so participated under the opposition were fired, so-and-so participated under the ruling party, they were spared, so that there is a un uniformity across the board. So it is what it is in Zimbabwe. I love you all. Thank you very much for coming. Please keep on subscribing, keep on commenting, keep these videos to as many people as possible. My name is Ronald Okamakusha.